press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Dear children, welcome to the class. In the last class, we came across a term called water of crystallization. What is the chemical formula of uh, washing soda? You just don't write it as Na2CO3, but you will write it as Na2CO3 dot 10H2O. This 10H2O is what is referred to as water of crystallization. What is this water of crystallization? Let's understand. Water of crystallization is nothing but the fixed number of water molecules. The fixed number of water molecules present in one formula unit of a given salt. For particular salt, the water of crystallization is particular. That is, in this case, for sodium, for a washing soda, the water of crystallization turns out to be 10 H2O. 10 H2O in this case refers 10 molecules of water are present as a single unit. 10 molecules of water are present as a single unit with the sodium carbonate. It simply means so many molecules of water for a given salt. The given salt here is washing soda, right? Washing soda is a given salt. For this particular salt, 10 molecules of water are present as a single unit for a given salt with sodium carbonate. With sodium carbonate, we have 10 molecules of water as water of crystallization. With the CuSO4, CuSO4 is copper sulfate. With CuSO4, 5 molecules of water are present as a water of crystallization for a unit, for a particular unit of CuSO4. Whereas in this case, CaSO4, 2 molecules of water is referred to as a water of crystallization. What does it mean, water of crystallization, water molecules are present? What do I mean by this is, so many molecules of water for a particular salt, for a given salt, so many molecules of water are trapped inside the crystal. They are trapped inside the crystal means, the crystals, do they appear wet? I am telling you that in this Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O, 10 molecules of water, uh, water are present. 10 molecules of water are present as water of crystallization. Does it mean, I am asking you, does it mean the crystals of Na2CO3, do they look wet? Do I feel any wetness when I touch these salts? Do I feel wetness when I touch CuSO4, copper sulfate crystals? Do I feel it? Do they look wet? No, they don't really look wet. They don't look wet, but the thing is, so many molecules of water are trapped inside them. So many molecules of water are trapped, are, they, are, they are present actually, but we don't find, when we see, we don't find, when we touch, we don't find, we don't feel that the, that, that the salts are wet. But the thing is, so many molecules of water are trapped inside. Water forms an essential part, an essential part in the making, in the formation of these crystal structures. So this is what is referred to as water of crystallization. I repeat. Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O in the particular, in, in the given particular salt, what does it indicate is 10 molecules of water are present as a single unit for with sodium carbonate. With sodium carbonate, 10 molecules of water are present as water of crystallization. So many molecules of water are trapped inside. Is this clear to you? Similarly, CuSO4 dot 5 H2O, how do I pronounce it? It is pronounced as pentahydrated copper sulfate or blue vitriol. Blue vitriol. It looks blue. Pentahydrated. Phi is penta. Pentahydrated. CuSO4 is copper sulfate. Is this clear to you? What does it mean? Five molecules of water are present as single unit with CuSO4 with copper sulfate. Similarly, CuSO4 dot 2 H2O. 2 is di dihydrated calcium sulfate dihydrated calcium sulfate two molecules of water are present as single unit with CaSO4 with calcium sulfate this is the meaning of it is this clear to you children so with this I told I told uh, CaSO4.5 H2O is commonly called as blue vitriol we have got uh, some interesting experiment related to this a very simple experiment i'll show that to you 
so you can follow the textbook with me activity 2.5 it says heat few crystals of copper sulfate in a dry boiling tube i have a boiling tube with me make sure the boiling tube is dry this is a dry boiling tube and what i am doing is i am going to transfer the contents into this i'll show you copper sulfate pentahydrate this is copper sulfate pentahydrate i'll show you the color it's blue in color brilliant blue so make sure the, this is a boiling tube and the boiling tube is dry boiling tube is dry enough and i'm going to transfer the contents into this you can again observe the color of this uh, copper sulfate pentahydrate blue color copper sulfate pentahydrate what i need to do is with the help of a whole dot i am going to dry these crystals and uh, i have a spirit lamp with me and using spirit lamp i'm just going to boil it let's see what changes we observe note the color note the color of copper sulfate pentahydrate it's blue in color note it down and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to heat this boiling tube containing blue vitriol so note down the changes the test tube or the boiling tube was dry enough and now let's see what happens the water molecules present in it upon giving heat what happens they escape as water vapor and you can also observe the change in its color the blue color is getting turned into white do you observe it and meanwhile the interesting thing is you can find the water droplets attached on the walls of this boiling tube do you find water molecules water droplets yeah i find water droplets attached to the uh, inner walls of this tube or this boiling tube do you observe the water molecules attached the water vapors i'll continue with the heating the blue color vitriol is almost turning white the blue color is almost turning white and i also find the water droplets the more water droplets yeah you can clearly observe the water droplets attached added to the inner wall of uh, this boiling tube i can find many water droplets here and the color the interesting thing is the color you will observe the color properly the color is now white and it was blue before heating and now it turned out to be white is this clear to you now in the activity we are asked to put few drops of water to it so i'm going to add few drops of water check it out so the color immediately turned again blue it retained its blue color upon pouring few drops of water is this clear to you children was it interesting so this is all about the experiment now they have asked a question to us in the activity 2.15 we followed everything what do you observe we observed oh uh, yeah do you notice water droplets in the boiling tube yes we observed 
add two to three drops of water on the sample of copper sulfate obtained after heating yes what did you observe is blue color of the copper sulfate restored yes the blue color restored so this is all about the experiment with blue vitriol and uh, this indicates the water of crystallization and uh, so many molecules of water are trapped and uh, they escaped upon heating and again after putting after pouring some two to three drops of water the blue color uh, retained the blue color reappeared so with this we'll move further so there is another salt CaSO4.2H2O this is calcium sulfate dihydrate or dihydrated calcium sulfate what is this calcium sulfate dihydrate it is referred to as gypsum G -Y -P -S -U -M, gypsum so upon heating gypsum when gypsum is heated at uh, 373 Kelvin it loses water molecules it loses some of its water molecules and plaster of Paris is obtained you must be aware of the term plaster of Paris POP plaster of Paris so plaster of Paris finds its a uh, utility in making toys in making various idols and uh, to give a smoother finish to the surfaces and uh, in, in also in, it's also widely used in medical field uh, for treating fractured bones and in a similar uh, for similar utility it is made use of let's understand something more about it hope the water of crystal the topic of water of crystallization is clear to you could you think uh, why pop or the, the term plaster of paris is given to it why not a plaster of india or a plaster of america why is it plaster of Paris? Plaster of Paris because well, very simple. It was ab abundant gypsum was found in uh, some hill in Paris. When the hill is known to be Montmartre. So abundant amount of this gypsum was found there it seems. Montmartre Hill in Paris and that is the reason it is referred to as plaster of Paris. We were discussing about gypsum G Y P S U E M gypsum. So gypsum is the chemical formula was known to be C A S O 4 dot 2 H 2 O that is calcium sulfate dihydrate is it not? It is a calcium sulfate dihydrate. What happens is upon heating this C A S O 4 dot 2H2O upon heating it at uh, at a particular temperature the temperature is 373 Kelvin upon heating it what happens is it loses some of its water and it forms CaSO4 dot half H2O plus one and half molecules of water So CaSO4 dot half H2O is what is referred to as POP plaster of Paris. What is this plaster of Paris? Is a roasted gypsum is manufactured from gypsum. POP can be attributed to be roasted gypsum. Roasted gypsum. You must be wondering what is this half molecule of water? Does a half molecule of water exist? So this simply indicates half molecule of water is two molecules of CaSO4 share one molecule of water. So what does it mean actually? It simply means two formula units of two formula units of CaSO4 or calcium CaSO4 is calcium sulfate right calcium sulfate uh, 2 4 minutes of calcium sulfate share one molecule of water they share one molecule of water I simply write it in a form of equation 2 formula units of 
सी ए एस ओ फोर शेयर वन मोलिक्यूल ऑफ वॉटर दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट राइट इज दिस क्लियर टू यू सो द मीनिंग ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट इज दिस सो वॉट शुड हैपन वेन टू सी एस ओ फोर दैट इज टू फॉर्मूला यूनिट्स ऑफ सी एस ओ फोर शेयर शेयर वन मोलिक्यूल ऑफ वॉटर वॉट शुड वन फॉर्मूला यूनिट ऑफ कैल्शियम सल्फेट ऑप्टेन हाफ एच टू ओ इज दिस क्लियर टू यू सो वन फॉर्मूला यूनिट ऑफ सी एस फो फोर मस्ट मस्ट गेन हाफ मोलिक्यूल ऑफ वॉटर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट जिप्सम और प्लास्टर ऑफ पैरिस दिस इज रेफर टू अस प्लास्टर ऑफ पैरिस दैट इज सी एस ओ फोर डॉट हाफ एच टू ओ इज रेफर टू एज पी ओ पी एंड पी ओ पी एस एच के नॉट बी यूज सो वॉट इज डन टू दिस अगेन वॉटर इज मिक्सड विद दिस वेन वॉटर इज मिक्सड it gains certain quality and out of it it can be used for several applications ca so4 dot half h2o pop is mixed with water so we are going to add water to this what happens again ca so4 dot 2 h2o gypsum is obtained right दिस पी ओ पी मिक्सिंग इट वॉटर इट चेंजेस टू जिप सम वंस अगेन गिविंग अ हार्ड सॉलिड मास प्लास्टर ऑफ पैरिस इज यूज टू मेक टॉयस एंड फॉर वेरियस डेकोरेटिव पर्पसेस एंड टू मेक द सरफेस इज वेरी सॉफ्ट इज इट नॉट surface smooth to obtain smooth surfaces and also widely used for supporting fractured bones for supporting fractured bones so these are the applications of pop plaster of paris Supporting fractured bones in the right position, in the correct or right position. So this ends up the chapter. keep reading textbook and try to answer exercise questions thank you all